Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video I'm speaking all about competitive research. So it's really important to research some of your competitors because you can analyze what they're doing right so you can adopt some of those principles on your own website as well, especially when it comes to search engine optimization, but also you can see where there's some opportunities for you to actually potentially uh, make up for where some of your competitors are lacking. So what are some of the tools that you can effectively utilize to actually do competitive research to help improve your search engine optimization? Well, I'm gonna give you a few in this video, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do when it comes to competitive research is actually finding out who some of your main competitors might be for the keywords that you want to rank for in Google. So here I've gone to Google and I've typed in handmade jumpers for women just to see if there are any uh, kind of potential uh, websites that are ranking in Google for the keyword that I may want to rank for. So if this was a keyword I wanted to rank for and it was on my keyword list, then this is a quick and easy way to see who's already ranking um, and identify maybe websites that you're competing with that you may not have even known about yet. So I found this website here, uh, folksy.com. And if you were selling what they're selling, then this is going to be one of your competitors in the search engines. So it's going to be important for you to analyze their website. Again, see, what's, see what they're doing right see where you can potentially take ideas and clues and see if there's any potential gaps that they're missing that you can actually make use of. So a tool I like to use for keyword research is SE Ranking. So uh, as you can see, when you log into SE Ranking, this is a premium tool. Um, I will leave a link to where you can access it in the description down below, but they actually have a competitive research tab. So um, once you click on their competitive research tab, you can literally search for the website in question and you can also search for what location you would like to do this search in. Then it will give you a breakdown of the SEO and PPC of the domain that you have just searched. So you can see the trust score is 79. You can see the organic traffic uh, that this, this website is generating. You can see the keywords that it is ranking for um, and you can also see the page trust as well of this particular page um, and you can see the amount of referring domains and the amount of backlinks that this particular website has so it has quite a lot of backlinks and referring domains so that's something to keep in mind maybe the keywords you're researching or the keywords you're wanting to rank for might be a little bit competitive you might want to go a little bit longer tail i speak about long tail keywords in some of my other youtube videos so here you can kind of see what countries uh, they are ranking for uh, in in terms of organic and then you can see as well what countries they're ranking for in terms of paid traffic campaigns too. So you can also analyze the traffic coming to this website. So this is the total traffic coming to this site, uh, the estimated number of clicks the analyzed website will get per month in its organic and PPC campaigns. So this is all of the traffic it's gotten. You can also uh, kind of uh, choose six month, a six month period, a 12 month period, 18 months and so on and so forth to kind of see more recent data as to uh, how much traffic this website is actually generating. And if you know this is a website that is quite uh, popular in your niche, this can give you an indicator of how in demand your niche is for the product that you are selling. You can also analyze keywords as well. So this is dy uh, dynamics of the number of keywords the analyzed website ranks for in organic search and uh, targets in its PPC campaigns. And then you have traffic costs. So this is how much it's costing them to drive that amount of traffic to their website. And then here you can see some data about the total backlinks that this website has. So you can also go down to or, or organic keywords. And this is really useful because you can see a detailed analysis of uh, the keywords that this particular website is ranking for. So yes, we may have searched one keyword and found this website, but this website is also ranking for other keywords, which is contributing to uh, the amount of traffic that is being driven. So if you target similar keywords, then there's a possibility that you can actually start ranking as well um, for what, what your competitors are ranking for. But you also have improved. So this is where um, your competitor 
has improved their ranking position. As you can see, that little green plus sign uh, going up is where your uh, this particular website has improved their ranking. So this is an indicator maybe of keywords that this website is focused on uh, because they may know that you know these types of keywords are really bringing them in a good good results, good traffic and good sales. So these might be keywords, again, that you want to uh, focus on as well. So another thing to keep in mind is decreased. So these are the keywords that they have uh, kind of fallen off of the track with keywords that they were ranking high for and the ranking has decreased. So, you know, oftentimes if a website is doing really well, but it has a lot of pages, it's difficult for that website to keep up to date with all of the pages that they have. And if you can see where they are dropping off, then this is a real great advantage for you. So I'm going to go to uh, this, one of the keywords that they are dropping in rankings for, and you can kind of analyze and see more information about this specific keyword. Uh, you can also get related keyword ideas as well. And you can see um, in terms of the organic results, what pages um, are, are ranking as well. So you can also see some of their new keywords. So these are new keywords that they're starting to rank for. Uh, you can see the search volume and you can see their current position for these keywords as well. So you can see potentially where they're putting their focus at the moment in terms of keywords. Um, and then you can see where they've lost rankings. So where they're no longer ranking highly, um, you can actually, again, use this similar to the decreased keywords to step in there, maybe utilize some of these keywords and start ranking where you're not currently ranking for. Um, and then you can see the organic competitors. So see, these are some of their major competitors. And you might also want to analyze some of these websites as well, if you feel like they're closely related to give you some even more keyword ideas. So SE ranking also shows you some of the top pages uh, that are performing really well for this particular website. So again, you might want to uh, adopt some of the, the keywords that these pages focus on so that you can have similar traffic results as well if you start ranking for those keywords. And uh, you can also see what they're doing in terms of their paid strategy. So there's no paid uh, keywords found at the moment in SE ranking for this particular website. So I've actually done a competitive analysis on alami.com just so you can see how many keywords can actually be generated using SE ranking. Uh, when I go down to their keywords section, you can see that 7.3 million keywords are extracted from this particular website, which is a lot of keywords in comparison to some of the other uh, tools out there on the market. So you also have SEMrush where you can perform similar keyword research. So I'm gonna put my uh, competitor in here and I'm going to select United Kingdom. and add domain. And this will give me some information again about my competitor. So I can see similar results that I saw in uh, SE ranking in terms of organic keywords, organic traffic, paid keywords, paid traffic, referring domains and domain score. So all I have to do is click on one of these tabs to get a little bit more information about that specific thing. So this is organic research. I can see uh, what keywords this particular uh, website is ranking for. I can also see things like position and you know whether they've gained position or lost position and the amount of traffic that that particular keyword is driving to their website as well as search volume and the keyword difficulty. And as well as that, I can actually go and see the exact page, so the exact URL um, that is ranking uh, for this particular keyword. So if I click here, it then takes me to the, to the web page that is ranking. So this is really important because you can analyze this page and potentially see why it's ranking so highly. So uh, uh, SEMrush is another great tool that you can utilize to, uh, to perform keyword research on some of your competitors. So you also have Moz, I've spoken about Moz before on this channel, and they have free SEO tools. And one of them is competitor research, and it will take you to this page, moz.com forward slash competitive hyphen research. And if you put your competitor in and select analyze domain, you'll get an idea of the domain authority, the page authority, the what key, how many keywords are ranking, 
Um, you can also see some of the uh, other top competitors as well that you can and that you might want to go and analyze. And you can see some of the keyword opportunities that uh, this particular uh, um, domain presents itself. Um, you can also see the current opportunities as well in terms of the URL and the top ranking keywords. Um, and this is kind of the free version of Moz. So it gives you not really in depth, um, an in depth analysis, but you would need to sign up and start your free trial to actually, you know, experience Moz in its fullest. So these are all kind of premium tools. Uh, and just to kind of give you an idea of pricing. So SE ranking actually starts from 18 pounds 40 a month and they have plans that go up to 89 uh, pounds 60 a month and you do get quite a lot with their essential package as well so um, this is definitely one of the most affordable platforms that you can utilize to do your keyword research um, moz is a little bit more expensive it comes in at 179 dollars a month um, but you do get a lot with your package so um, that's definitely one to consider and they do offer a 30-day free trial so you might want to check them out as well and then you have SEMrush. Um, so their package starts from $119 a month, um, which is uh, fairly expensive. And it, their business package goes all the way up to $449 a month. But if you're serious about doing your competitive research, then I recommend at least uh, doing the free trials of these, uh, these platforms, seeing which one works for you, picking them, and uh, you can take things from there. I'll be leaving links to all of the websites that I mentioned in the video in the description down below. So make sure you go and check those websites out. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.